Hey everybody, how you doing this week? It is Trek Yards Top 10 time. I'm Captain Foley. And I'm Commander Cockings, as always, for this weekly Thursday Top 10. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just looking around at the awesome display all around us. It's it's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, so I, I don't know what is the topic of today's discussion. There's so many things around me. We don't we don't practice these. We don't whatever. I love your improv. How you think it? I love them so much. We are doing top ten L cars displays. So like this, or watch any of our episodes to work out our L cars. Yeah, that one. There's a whole variety. I'm a huge fan. Of I'm a huge fan of Elkars. I collect Elkars, as you as you know from watching my captain's logs and stuff. I got Elkars from But, but Stuart, everything. where did you get your Elkars? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. That'll, that'll be number one in the top most asked questions for Trek Yards episodes. Yeah, absolutely will. <laughs> but this is, as we said, top ten Elkars. Uh, I think fans will know what our number one is, but I'm interested to see what everything else is. Because there is quite a lot of diverse ones. I know you like some odd ones, so I'm really interested to see what you pick. Some odd ones. Well, thank you. Oh. Anyway, number five for me is TOS. Had to be on the list. Uh, I know it's not everybody's most fav favorite because it just kind of flashes and does nothing and there's no <laughs> numbers everywhere. But I absolutely love the look of it. And if you actually incorporate, if you look at our TOS Elkar's design for Trek Yards, we got, mm. I must say, I designed a rather cool one because I did that one. Anyway, you can make it look really good and kind of, and very functional and modern if you apply it um but the flashing blinkiness and randomness of the tos it's kind of irritating sometimes it, it needed to be more involved and have actual displays as far as i'm concerned but that's why it's number five yep great choice okay uh number four for me is the star trek first contact l cars kind of a step up of the next generation style a different color scheme you got the reds and the blues as opposed to the more tans and you know more muted colors mm -hmm. um so a really nice evolution of the TNG design, and I absolutely love it. So, Yeah, so there. the classic, almost. Yes, these are probably all on your list. That's why you're not saying much about them, so I understand. All right. Yeah, we can discuss after. <laughs> <laughs> Number three for me is actually Renegade's Elkars, uh, designed by Scott Nakata. Amazing looking displays, mm -hmm. and again, a great evolution mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. that TNG aesthetic into mm -hmm. the future. Uh, and I... Spot on, Scott. I really like those and really appreciate those. And Scott was nice enough to give us his production L cars, which I was then able to spend a few hours rebuilding into our shape. And so I know how to work them. And the color palette's fun. They're all different shades. And it's, yeah, it's really, they cut off the edges. That's basically what he does. But it's aggressive and it's interesting. Yeah, really good design. Awesome. All right, well, number two for me is the T cars from the USS Relativity. So the 29th century L cars. Again, the fact that you can just wave your hand over. Mm. the console you don't actually have to touch it and just the it's more angular there's not as many well there, i'm gonna say there's not many straight lines but there is well there's it's just, more curved or angular because renegade's angular they're more curved and and smooth lines yeah it's just more there's more going on it's again it's it always impresses me how they can take something and evolve it so far into the future make it look the same yet totally different yeah. i mean excellent job on the uh on that i the t cars is incredible and you, you mentioned the uh, waving the hand over. Is it, it must make sense though that with the advancement, kind of, I was going to jump in Mission Impossible, uh, not Mission Impossible, um, um, Minority Report style, where you can where it makes sense. It was a hologram, you know, it would be in the air. Like this feels like that's the perfect style for that. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. If they kind of kind of reminiscent of the Prometheus holograms too. If you watch Prometheus, mm. yeah. uh, really, so interactive holographic displays. But your number uh, one. My number one is, of course, the movie era. I mean, just beautiful, uh, beautiful Elkars. Beautiful color palette, okay. the greens and the blues. It's it's mm. a my all-time favorite. We use it quite a bit. We use it for all of our mission briefings. And here. we love using it for the episodes when we're that era. It's always like, yes, that Elkars. It's a good-looking Elkars. Yeah, we kind of shift things around and change a few things. The Stargazer, we added a few little things that were kind of unique. So <laughs> Stuart it's, it's insists easy, on that <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> I do. I, I like. I said. I'm an Elkar's junkie. I love them. Uh, so, yeah, definitely my favorite. And uh, I love seeing it anytime it popped up in TNG. It's just like mm. oh, that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that was so. a nice, nice uh, like holiday from our aesthetic to the. Yes, that's the classic. Yes, absolutely. Post, post -classic. So there you go. That is my list of top Elkar's. Okay, 
I'm surprised, in a good way. Really? Hmm. My number five is the T-Cars, 29th century, because you know I love this version. Although I'm, mm-hmm. I would have thought, would you think it'd be higher on my list? I absolutely did think it would be higher on your oh. list. I thought number two or one. Oh. Now, it is sleek, cool blue, nice curves, and just gives a whole advanced feel. And you said that absolutely perfectly in your version. How on earth do you push the future into the future? And they did it. And it looks incredible. Um, and all the stuff in the relativity stuff was pretty incredible. Yeah, just, just great design. And it's always fun to... Although, actually, um, we did the originally for the um, technologies. By God, is it annoying to edit for? Because all the sleek lines, when you lose so much space, like, it's awful. Awful, awful. But beautiful. But awful. But beautiful. Yeah. 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 My number four is TOS. As you said, it is bright, beautiful, and fun. Not much, really, or almost any information being presented. Just lights and boxes. But that's its charm. Mm. Great style. And I really want you to, to tell us, or I can uh, intro this, you did give a reason why, um, there's a reason it developed why there isn't any information, and why it's so random, and, and, and yeah, why? Well, what's the reason behind that? Well, the numbers are all diff- they all mean different things. Mm-hmm. Little numbers in those little flashing boxes. Mm-hmm. And to prevent an alien yeah. or an enemy from discovering what work, like, like what each sy- system does or whatever, every so often they change the codes so mm-hmm. that if even if you did decipher a code and, as an enemy and you aboard the ship, everything's well, not labeled. I mean, a few things are labeled, but all the numbers change, uh, and you know you have to you have to stay up on the current code so that you know what you're doing as a Starfleet officer. But it would be very difficult to take the ship, having deciphered an older code. So that's basically the reason behind that, which makes a lot of sense. It yeah, it, it, it certainly tells you a lot about. Again, this is probably a fat, probably a fan theory, isn't it, or something along those lines? But it's uh... I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I heard that over the years, but yeah. Yeah, but it, it it tells you a lot about the era that the TOS was in. That they had to even you know code their their systems. I mean, all you really want is a display that has numbers and letters and you know information and and, and ship displays and things. But maybe it wasn't the right time for that. I'd love to see though a remastered version, all the same. Wait, what we do for track yards? You know, all the same stuff with pictures of ships and with diagrams. I'd love to see that as a the flat screen version. I think it'd be great. But it's it's great, and that's a long. Long-winded version of saying my number four. My number three, I'm so surprised it's not on your list, is the Klingon style. It is so cool. It is dynamic. It is vibrant. And the triangle patterns work so damn well. It is one of the very, very few alien race Elkars that we've really seen fleshed out. And have so many variations done of on all different eras and different ships. It looks so fantastic. Although, you know, the fact that it didn't actually change from the Enterprise era to the TNG movies really says how much of a classic operating system that Klingon one is. I mean, we changed four or five times, six or seven times even. But the Klingons, they are consistent. Damn good same, same with their Same with their ships. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They like to go with what works. So. Or don't even fix it, just keep fighting. <laughs> They're crazy. My number two is um, a very, very variation on your ones. I go for the Voyager era. Now that, well, the Voyager and DS9 era, because that is the improved TNG one. Because as you said, the TNG is a bit more blocky. But I do not like the first contact version as much when it gets those blues and those reds. I like the orange palette, but the sleeked orange palette of the Voyager and DS9. Um, slightly thinner bars and just more streamlined. We saw it on the Defiant, we saw it on Voyager, and I thought early Sovereign, but I think you're right, might have been they already moved into the later one. Um, it did change that blue version later on in Nemesis and maybe uh, Insurrection. Didn't like that version as much. Um, looks, I don't know, but I like I like this version. It's the futuristic version of the future, and it's pleasing and it's iconic. And this that that version is the L cars to me. That is what you associate with with L cars. Mm-hmm. I think. Um, so yeah. And my number one, and it's no surprise to anyone, is also the Star Trek VI version. Because really, there, there isn't that version for motion picture or Star Trek II. I think it comes in Star Trek III, uh, maybe four, But it really is the um, Star Trek VI, Excelsior, and then obviously any TNG looking back, as you said, which is great, yeah. Constellation or any of those things. It is elegant, visually appealing Elkars, sleek and simple, clean colour palette, and really contrasts with the red of the uniforms. I think that really does, that is part of it. Um, we've talked about it before, and I'm sure you picked it too, 
which you did, and I wrote that in the script for me saying that, so I'm glad I'm right about me in the script. Um, I think it does say to why um, you have the Renegades one so high up, because they use the blues as well. And that's also part of why we like it so much. So, um, yeah, it had to be that one. I think if I was on a ship, that would be my that would be my Alcars. Although I wouldn't mind upgrading to the Voyager style, but that would be the cool one to have. Excellent. Cool. Honourable mention, Stuart? My honourable mention is Enterprise. It is a nice okay. piece, taking the TOS aesthetic and trying to move it back, but leading into TOS. It's Windows, and especially... it's Windows Vista 3 or something. Almost. <laughs> yeah, and especially like the last episode of Enterprise yeah. where they stepped up the color palette to be more yeah. TOS-ish. I yeah. really like that. And the, the Enterprise ones are very appealing to me because they are similar to TOS, but they're, they make more sense than yeah. TOS. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I don't know why I cho- chose it as an album mention. I just I didn't think it fit on the list. Um, well, they're not, they're not Star so, trek enough. Yeah, they're too modern day. That's exactly right. Uh, but like, it was it was that was a tough call for them to design that though, going oh, yeah. knowing what TOS was. So they did a fantastic job as far as that goes. So yeah, I would agree completely. And as you say, the last episode it was a nice addition to change that color palette yeah. and just give that visual cue because it does make you feel closer to. But yeah, it's probably the most functional. Although I do think you know the Voyager mm-hmm. Nemesis. Uh, I mean, first contact version. I mean, that sort of one is you have all the buttons, but you have a little information window that you press a button and that says any information you want. So I think that still is functional. Just has more buttons, maybe? Or less? I don't know. But yeah, still amazing. Uh, my honorable mention, and I have two, because why not? First, the quick ones, though. First, the Borg Elkars. It's just fun. I love it. Mm-hmm. That's all I've written down for that. I just think it's great. <laughs> it's, I'd love to know the logic behind it, if there is any. I think it's great. And, and when we got C7 of 9, actually, it's, you know, it's part of the, you know, episode arc of weekly basis sometimes having to press a hand and I don't know just a bit of fun and my other one is the Renegades one I do love it um, it's a great take on Federation aesthetic really sleek and feels more advanced yet again just yeah I love that you put it on there um, well done Scott it made a lot of sense and that is my list cool well I'm actually surprised because I didn't yeah. include any alien L cards for the simple fact that I figured that would be a different top 10 list so I don't have Klingon or Borg on my list well, it's just top ten L cars designed. I mean, yes, I guess you could argue that L cars, the Klingons wouldn't call it L cars, possibly. Exactly, exactly. It's Federation. Oh, I suppose. So you kind of dropped the ball on that one. We, we, like I said, we 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 come up with these list ideas and we don't really discuss it when we do them. I guess that's. I guess we, that's we each make suppose. our own little mini mini list and script. Mm. So should <laughs> and, we rename uh, this computer displays then? No, I think we should keep it Elkars and then later do an Alien Elkars episode. And you can just scold me in that episode saying you already nicked these. and yeah. So you can't use Borg or Klingon in, in your next one. <laughs> That's not fair. I don't know. I just, yeah, I just thought they... Okay, I get that. But I was going on the whole franchise. I was going on the whole thing. Um, although that makes more sense for well, really, me now. Really, I shouldn't have included T-Cars because that's not Elkars. And also Renegades, and Renegades is not official. But it is still Federation. But it's not official. I did, it didn't say official Alcars, it just says Alcars. And, and it didn't say not Federation. But the Klingons don't call it Alcars. But Neither do the if, you tra- if you translate it from Klingonese, <laughs> it's Alcars. Well, <laughs> it's kind of hard to, hide, kind of hard to <laughs> translate an acronym. And yet they do it so well. In case you guys didn't know, Alcars stands for Library Act. Library Computer Access and Retrieval System. Or in Klingon, Jack Tech Vuk Dabach. Roughly translate to Elkars. You've been brushing up on your Klingon commander without telling me. <laughs> well, we did do a full episode in Klingon. No, we don't. <laughs> we should do that. That's a good idea. Jesus. Okay. Subtitles. Uh, I love your list. Very predictable, almost, but there's only a certain amount we can pick. But I think fundamentally they're all amazing and I think sometimes you could you could probably say they're all number one in certain ways because they're all amazing mm. any yeah. any last thoughts on mine on your list uh, I'm just surprised you picked an alien one for your number three um, I didn't even look at the alien ones because I just figured it was a different list but yes I'm, I'm not really surprised I'm a little bit I considered T-Cars I thought might be higher on your list 
Yeah, I just think there's, there's... And I, I figured Enterprise would be on your list, too, for some reason. I didn't think TOS would make your list. I thought TOS would be your honorable mention. That's my um, biggest surprise on your list. Yeah, but I'm at least glad you brought up Enterprise. Because it does deserve some shout-out. They, they were clever, if oh, not sorry. most Star trek -y. Anyway, that's it for this week's trek -Yours Top 10. Do you agree with our list? Have I cheated a bit too much this time? Yeah. You need to <laughs> serve some time in the break for that one, I think. Um, anyway, but yeah, let us know what you think of the top 10. What is your favourite L cars? Are we right? Are we wrong? Do you think TOS is the best? Do you have a fan L cars you want to show us? Put a link in the comments below. And what is your favourite top 10 alien L cars? To, you know, spurn us to have those... Well, there's so many, but it's hard to think of them. So maybe you can help us work out our top 10 alien for another episode of Top 10. Anyway, until next week, guys, it's the Commander Kongs. And Captain Foley. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, okay.